Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I have in front of me uh, a bottle of Tuscan wine, and it's uh, La Serre, Serre Nueve uh, del Ornelaya, 2015. So the second wine of the famous Bulgari estate, uh, Ornelaya. I think what, what uh, the, the difference is that between this and the Big Brother, this is the young vine cuvées. What does it say on the back? Hey, yeah, primarily from the younger wines of the estate. Um, this wine reflects the pedigree of Ornelaya. It combines generosity and depth of flavour with an engaging and vibrant personality. So, um, give it a whirl and see whether it lives up to that billing. Well, it smells delicious. Uh, it smells uh, rich, tarry. Uh, I'm not sure whether there's Cabernet Franc in there. There's like a leafy, tar-like character. Uh, also some herbs coming through. Um, uh, sometimes when, when people say, what is the difference between uh, the wines of Bulgari and the wines of Bordeaux, often made on from uh, the same, same grape varieties, uh, yeah, I get a, a little touch of the Tuscan herbs coming through uh, in, in, in the Bulgari ones, and here that, that's coming through. But main event is this lovely, plush, plummy fruit. Um, it smells like you want to um, yeah, really have a big, big, juicy glass. So I'm going to have some big, juicy glasses later, but first of all, I'm going to taste it properly. And it's got this plum, it's got this tar, it's got this berry, a little bit of black currant in there at the background. Um, and uh, quite chewy tannin. I mean, it's 2015, and we're in August 2017 here now, so it's less than two years old. But um, um, really, it's quite voluptuous. Not so over the top that it's going to go wobbly, because it's got this nice framework of um, there is some freshness and uh, black currenty, uh, black currenty freshness, uh, but also this backbone of tannin. Um, but it doesn't feel like tannin that's uh, going to have a problem resolving itself. So less than two years old now, um, it's, a, it's a pup. Uh, ideally you'd get in there in uh, two, three years time and it's certainly built to, to last quite a long time beyond there. How does it differ from um, regular Ornelaya? Well, sadly I don't have a bottle of 2015 Ornelaya uh, to compare it with, but I would imagine uh, that this is probably a little bit more forward at this stage in its development. Online itself will probably have uh, uh, more depth, um, maybe a little less of that plumbing, more of the black currant. Uh, probably got maybe a higher pro proportion of Cabernet Sauvignon uh, in there, and uh, firmer tannin. It won't be as forward and as gushing and as juicy and friendly as this is at this stage. As I say, probably not at uh, not the ideal time to to get in there. I'd say two or three years is when I'd like to see it, but um, to be honest, uh, we're on beef and in uh, beef cooked in red wine tonight, uh, and I think if I pour this out and uh, give it 20 minutes in a, in a jug or to, to calm down, I think it's going to be rather splendid. It's already rather splendid, so um, uh, go and grab a bottle, enjoy it. I think I'm going to see you soon.